Hi everyone, so today I wanted to do a review on this relatively new fragrance from the brand True Fragrance called Strawberry Icing. So this came out around January or February of 2024 depending on when stores got their supplies. So you can find this at your local Marshalls or TJ Maxx depending on what inventory they have and if you know people are buying the product. If you don't know, True Fragrance is a brand, I guess, that has a lot of very popular fragrances that have gone like viral. So the first one that had a lot of like notoriety and a lot of people liked was the Vanilla Potion. Here we go is the original one. So once upon a time, the Vanilla Potion was actually sold for about $14.99 or $12.99. Uh, when it got really popular, the price went up and it then reached $16.99. This is their first bottle style. It was a 3.4 fluid ounce. So here we go. Super pretty. I much prefer this one, especially the decorative top and everything. Then they came out with their praline and pistachio scents. So that one was, again, very popular and that one was known to be a Sol de Janeiro Trosa 71 dupe. However, this one is a little bit lighter, but it's still very like buttery and nutty at the same time. So here we go, same bottle style. They did come out with another one. I'll maybe insert it if I still have the photo. Again, this was a 3.4 fluid ounce. They then recently, 2024, they changed their bottle style, which, which is a little bit unfortunate. So let me move the strawberry icing over here and then just give you a quick comparison if you're interested in knowing about that. So here we have praline and pistachio on the left and then praline and pistachio on the right in the new packaging. If you can see, one is much smaller. So initially when I saw this, I was really happy because the price went down. Now it is $14.99. And this one was on sale for $16.99. However, if you compare the fluid ounces, let me try to show it to you without too much glare. It says 2.5 fluid ounces for the new one. Again, it's very skinny. This one, on the other hand, it's much larger. This one is 3.4 fluid ounce. So if you do the math, so if you do the price divided by the fluid ounce, the one to the left, the old packaging, price per fluid ounce is $4.99 compared to the new one, which is $5.99. So they actually are increasing the dollar, I mean the price by $1 per fluid ounce. So while this one is less expensive, you are getting less perfume, so less product. Um, so that's unfortunate. And, and also you're getting a, in my opinion, much simpler packaging, probably cheaper as well. Um, so there's that, but let's get on to the review of uh, the new one, Strawberry Icing. So I wore this today and I was pretty happy. I only purchased one of these. So let's go on to what I think it smells when you first spray it. So I already sprayed my wrist, so I can still smell it after working eight hours. It is very, very light though, but let's see. Right here, you can go ahead, hopefully see the atomizer. So there, it's a healthy spray. Okay, so let me put on the cap and then go over what my opinion is on this, on the initial spray. The main thing I get is that very distinct strawberry smell. To me, in my opinion, it reminds me a little bit of a mixture between an artificial strawberry scent because it reminds me a bit of that strawberry candy. Think about a strawberry Jolly Rancher, just if you reduce the sweetness by like 25%. It's slightly sticky, but yet at the same time, it's a little bit watery as well. Kind of like if you picture um, getting a strawberry and cutting it in half. So there's like a little bit of that juice, like that juice fragrance in there. It's very nice. And then to me initially, when I smelled this, I feel like it could be mixed with something else. So for example, maybe a cucumber note or a rhubarb note because rhubarb is a little bit tart. I would also say that it also could be a watermelon, but it's like very minor. The main note I get is that strawberry note, but yeah, it is a little bit sweet and aquatic at the same time. 
However, my expectations were a little bit different for the fragrance. When I read strawberry icing, I thought it was going to be a lot more sugary. Heck, maybe even gourmand. I, I was thinking like the fondant icing or maybe even like that super sweet icing that you have on cakes that you get from the grocery store that is like way too sweet. I personally don't eat that part. That's the scent that I was going for. But yeah, it's definitely not that. This one is a lot more tart. So unfortunately, if you're looking for a very sugary sweet fragrance, this is definitely not the one for you. In terms of, I guess, performance of this perfume. So I sprayed this around, I would say I wake up, get ready at 7 a.m. is when I spray myself. I did a good about seven sprays, which might seem a lot, but I tend to spray on my clothes as well as on my wrists on either side. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I feel like my scent lasts a little bit longer is because I spray it both on my clothing and then on my skin itself. So for about two hours, so on my drive over to work and then the first maybe like hour or two of working, I feel like this scent really projected. Not also did this scent project when I was in the car with my sister driving to work, she was able to smell me. So I would say you get really decent projection, um, pretty medium, probably the first two hours. Then it does die down a bit. But I want to say that if you've tried vanilla potion and praline and pistachio, those almost immediately become skin scents and you do probably need to overspray more vanilla potion and praline and pistachio. Whereas strawberry icing, you get more projection initially than those two. So I wouldn't necessarily suggest over spraying yourself with this strawberry icing. I would say to maybe carry either a little decant or spray yourself midday versus vanilla potion. You'd have more leeway if you over spray yourself versus strawberry icing. I feel like it could become a little bit too much. Let's get on to a Bath & Body Works Prime Fragrance Mist that is very similar. Someone on TikTok compared it to a Bath & Body Works Prime Fragrance Mist from I believe maybe 2020 or 2021. It's been a while but I do have that scent and that is the Bath & Body Works Buttercups and Berry Bellini and this one was a predominant strawberry uh, fine fragrance mist. So the scent notes are a little bit hard to read, but they are strawberry puree, buttercup flowers, as well as bubbly prosecco. So these two are very similar. Obviously, I don't get a bubbly note. Oh, sorry, wrong one. I don't get a bubbly note from strawberry icing. However, it could be that there's a very watery light floral that's helping um, strawberry icing, but I don't necessarily get that. However, the strawberry in Buttercups and Berry Bellini, it's a little bit more authentic. Let me spray myself to remember. Buttercups and Berry Bellini, despite initially, at least in my opinion, it's not a super sweet scent, but it is sweeter than strawberry icing. And I think it's because there's this dichotomy going on with the tartness in this perfume as well as the sweetness that um, the strawberry brings in it. So I think these two would be great layer together. And I do want to mention another fragrance from Bath & Body Works, a fine fragrance mist that could pair well with strawberry icing from True Fragrance and just bring out that tart note. If you do like it for that tartness, that this could kind of amplify it. So here we have a signature scent. I don't know if this was discontinued yet or not, but we have Poppy. So this, a lot of people said, was a kind of um, dupe for the Marc Jacobs, was it perfect perfume? But um, it has a lot of the similar scent notes. So that is Fresh Morning Dew, Wild Poppies, Sugared Rhubarb, and Juicy Pear. While Poppy, um, this fine fragrance mist, leans a bit more perfumey because of all those floral notes. I feel like the rhubarb could be a note that is mimicking the tartness from the strawberry icing. So these two pair it together if you don't necessarily like that sweetness in strawberry icing, although I don't know why you would get it if you don't like strawberry notes. Um, but this could play on that tart wateriness that I'm getting. So that could be another layering combo or Conversely, if you feel like strawberry icing is really lacking that 
strawberry sweet note. I think that there is another Bath & Body Works fine fragrance mist that could pair well with it, and that would be strawberry soda. Now, strawberry soda from Bath & Body Works is definitely artificial, but I feel like it amps up the sweetness that you might be missing from the perfume strawberry icing. Um, there is like a bubbly note in here that is not, again, present in strawberry icing, so just be aware of that. The fragrance notes to this are fresh strawberries, bubbly seltzer, and crushed ice. So again, you can kind of see a common theme going here, some form of like aquaticness or wateriness. Um, however, this one is definitely a bubbly effervescence strawberry artificial soda. So that could um, add a little bit more sweetness that you're missing in strawberry icing. So overall, I feel like I really like strawberry icing. However, I feel like if you were expecting a super sweet fragrance, this is definitely not for you. Performance, in my opinion, is good enough for, what is it, the $14.99 in order for this to be a part of your collection. So maybe go ahead and see if you're Marshalls and TJ Maxx has it. However, I would not recommend paying like reseller prices. So I wouldn't pay more than $14.99 for this fragrance. I don't think that it's anything worth <laughs> more than $14.99, most definitely not. So I wouldn't purchase this again just because I like a little bit more sweeter scents, although I don't have any other fragrance or perfume that is super similar. All of my other perfumes are either um, just going in a different direction, but there's not one that's like a fruit that's a little bit tart smelling, if that makes sense. So yeah, I just want to give you this quick review uh, to give you a better idea of what this strawberry icing perfume smells like from True Fragrance. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope you have a great day. Okay, bye.